Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be machining the y-axis stepper mount. Now this is uh, fairly similar to the x-axis except for the way that it mounts to the spacer. And so the machining process is although similar, I'm going to be trying a different cam function uh, to bore the center hole. And also let's go take a look at the cam processes that I'm going to be using in Fusion 360. So let's All right, so here we are in Fusion 360. So let's take a look at the cam functions for the Y axis stepper mount. Here we have it drawn up. You can see that we have threaded holes here for our stepper motor. And we also have countersunk holes here to mount the spacer. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm just using a eighth inch drill bit to just drill through these holes. Next we're going to come back with a 1164th drill bit and we're going to drill out for the five millimeter threads. Then we're going to come back with a chamfer mill. This is a 3 8 inch chamfer mill. And we're going to come back and just countersink these holes for the mounting holes for the spacer. We want these below the surface here because when the motor goes on there, it's going to uh, press up against here. And then next, we have our center hole. Here we're doing 2D adaptive clearing and this is what I wanted to show you. You can see how we're spiraling down and then once we get to the desired depth which is a half inch then we start spiraling out to clear out the hole. This is a little different than the method that I use for the X and Z spacer. As you can see We used a circular milling, 2D circular, and then I stepped it over. So I went down 40 thousandths, made a cut, and then stepped out, made a cut, and then stepped out, and made a cut. There are several different ways you can do this, and it's fun to kind of go through the cam. So after we do our... 2D adaptive, we're going to come back and do the recess. So this is setup one and we're using our top left corner for our zero. Setup two, because we're flipping the part over, I want to keep that same corner as my reference. So when we flip it over, we're going to be moving to the top right corner. For this, we're just doing a contour, and this was actually, when I did the cutting, I could have went a little deeper, but it still turned out fine. This is a quarter inch end mill, and we're coming through and just making our groove for our spacer, and then it's going to leave just a little rounded edge right here, so I just came back to clean these edges up. You can also use this operation to make this a little bit wider because some of the square tubing it's not perfectly uh, rectangular and it's a little thicker so if you need to widen this up a little bit you can use this contour to do that. So that is our y-axis stepper mount so let's go out to the mill and we'll machine this up. First process is going to be doing some drilling.
let's get this cha uh, tool changed. Let's get this uh, changed, put in a chamfer mill, and come back and chamfer these holes. Get this changed out. We'll put in our 3 8 inch end mill. All right, here we go.
All right, there's the finished front. These will be threaded for our stepper motor. And this is the recess for the flange on the stepper motor. And now we'll just flip this over. So let's get this flipped over and we'll finish it up on the back side. All right, so we've got it flipped over and I've got the zero now moved from this corner to this corner because we flipped it over. I want to keep the relationship the same on the same corner. So let's get started. So we'll get this out, get it cleaned up, take a look at it. All right, well that wraps up the Y-axis. Uh, they turned out pretty good. The countersink screws will go through like so. And then that's how it will bolt to the spacer. And then when the motor sits on there, it'll cover these up. So they need to be uh, countersunk. And then these are M5s by 0.8 for the stepper motors. I think this design works well because this locks the spacer in there. You don't really need any big screws to mount this because it's going to be locked in by this area here. So that wraps up this video. If you have any suggestions or questions, please feel free to comment. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, stop by and visit the website, and most importantly, be safe.